Nothing fancy. Now, that's an interesting clue from J.W. Johnson about the Browns' new uniforms. And with those uniforms set to be revealed within the next two and a half weeks, probably, it's time for us to do what we do, which is recklessly, irresponsibly speculate about the Cleveland Browns' new uniforms in 2020. So what I'm going to do in this video is break down what we know so far and what we can surmise from what Nike and the NFL has done with new uniforms in the past. And then at the end, we will show you different renders from fans, but also I will show you renders that I made myself at the end of this video to show you what I think the Browns uniforms will and should look like based off of just pure speculation so let's jump into it all right so what do we know so far well the browns released a article a few months ago basically um announcing formally that they're going to have new jerseys and informally this has been known for about a year um, but some of the quotes in the article is that this um, uniform will embody a nothing fancy mindset. Again, it's what JW said in that video. And embracing the team's rich history and unique distinction as the only NFL team with orange and brown as its two primary colors. I think that is very interesting that they slipped that one in there. Um, obviously, the Browns have always, you know, showed some brown and orange in their color scheme with their helmet always being orange um, and some brown on there. So that inclusion, I think, is significant because I think it's going to be um, a through line on what they're actually doing with the uniforms. And what I think they're going to do is they're going to bring back the orange pants as kind of a primary pants. I think they're going to have the orange pants for the white uniform and the orange pants for the brown uniform, bringing back the brown and orange um, jersey combination. That's truly what I think they're hinting at. Also, another thing in this article was that there are going to be no new colors. So I would assume that means that the colors, the current brown color and the current orange color are going to stay the same, um, which is with that orange is a more kind of highlighted, um, kind of more like in a red tone orange also there's this tweet by somebody who has who knows somebody who has seen the uniforms it says these uniforms look like what brown's uniforms are going to supposed to look like um i think that just hints at the uniforms having a more traditional look and feel to them as the brown's new uniforms the ones they introduced in 2015 were were a complete mess so um i think that's a good sign now if you look at when nfl teams get new uniforms there are two categories that these teams are usually put in teams that are getting their first redesign under nike and teams that already had a redesign but opted to get another redesign immediately when they were eligible and that 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 is about a five-year um waiting period to be eligible for new uniforms now the reason i bring up those two divides is that if you're getting your first redesign well you're going to get something completely different like they did with the cleveland browns um they completely changed and tried to modernize the look without holding on to much of the traditional elements of the cleveland browns jersey uh much like they did with the jets they completely kind of upended the Jets uniform um, you look at Tampa Bay's first redesign it was completely completely different than what they were wearing before um, in so when those kind of changes happen those tend to be dramatic shifts um, in uniform changes but when they make an adjustment based off of a redesign that they already did five years prior those changes tend to be um, less and more muted so if you look at jacksonville right they switch to kind of from that new jersey that they had to something that's a little bit more muted a little bit more traditional and kind of got rid of like some of the fancy elements around um the new jacksonville jaguars uniform if you look at the dolphins they barely changed the uniform only adding a thick orange stripe around the numbers um to make it look just a little bit more traditional as well as introducing um these very beautiful throwback jerseys um and then if you look at what is leaked and report it to be the Bucks' new uniform, which they're going to reveal in 2020. Um, it looks like a complete kind of homage 
to the early 2000s Bucks uniforms, kind of a overhaul in the traditional, uh, back to the traditional classic look of the franchise. Um, and if you look at Nike's, what I would call modern classic jerseys, um, which is when they try to revert a team back to a more modern but classic look, um, I think there are some things that, you should notice there's simple, clean designs. Um, they usually have kind of a flat letterhead, so it's not like that slanted shadowing that the Browns have that makes it look really dated. Um, it's a more or less just like an outlined or a flat block letter um, for the numbers. And this brings me to some of the guesses of what the new uniform might look like um, because, you know, I think it's obvious that the Browns are returning to a more traditional look. I wouldn't expect a even more out there version of what the Browns have. So with that in mind, let's look at the first um, one that's been going around the internet a lot. And I saw this one um, tweeted at me. Uh, you know, this is pretty much the old uniforms down to a T. I don't really see any change except for the orange pants there on Baker Mayfield. Um, you know, these would be kind of like acceptable, um, and expected. I don't think they're going to go this far back. I don't think they're just going to release a throwback. I don't think that's how Nike's going to roll with it. I do think it's going to be something different and new. And I would prefer something different and new because, you know, while we're nostalgic for these uniforms, because they're simply better than the last ones, I don't think they were the best version of a Browns uniform that can exist. So if they can strive for that, I would go for that. The second one um, is kind of a take on the color rush, but expanding that on to um, all of the jerseys here. And, you know, these are interesting. The helmet design, um, they got rid of the white stripe in the helmet. I don't think that's going to play with a lot of Browns fans, even though I don't really mind it that much. Um, but you know these are these are nice. I don't mind these. Um, they're they're really simple and, and basic. I don't like the orange numbers on the brown jersey. I have went off on this many times. It's ugly. It's it's just not a good look. I don't like the orange numbers on the brown jersey. I like the orange numbers on the white jersey, but the brown jersey. It, it just looks like a mess. But, you know, this is kind of expanding on that color rush and just putting it on to um, all of the jersey sets. Now, I'm going to reveal what some of the renders that I have made um, that I would like the Browns uniform to look at. And my inspiration for this was essentially kind of a throwback to the Browns' old uniforms while adding something new to that. And also seeing how beautiful Miami's new jerseys, I mean, not their new jerseys, but their throwback jerseys look um, on, modern, on a modern player. And really just wanting to expand that and make it into a Browns jersey. And this is the first thing I got. Now, these aren't Browns players that are modeling these jerseys. I just Photoshopped some Dolphins players in these jerseys. But this is the Brown uniform. Um, I like that there is the kind of space in between the lines where you can see the Brown jersey to, to separate the stripes. Um, I think that adds something new. I also like the orange outline on the jersey. I think it adds a classic look to the Browns jersey, um, somewhat giving a homage to the 1985 look of the jersey that did have these outlines while also making it a more modern and very different jersey um, than the original Browns uniform. And then obviously we have an orange version, which is the same thing. I like the outlining here especially because it does help um, give that number some extra pop while also allowing the jersey to kind of just sit there um, and be clean and classic. And then I am in love with the new white jersey with the with the orange lettering. If the Browns uniforms look like this, I will be a very, very happy camper here in Cleveland. Now, I've, I've put some of this out there on Twitter recently, and some people don't like the... The outline, some people do. Some people don't like the orange letters. Some people do. I love the orange letters on the white. I think it looks really good, especially when you have a solid outline on it. Um, 
And, you know, I, I this is what I really hope the Browns uniform looks like. Now, given the history the NFL has shown with other teams when they get their refresh after five years, um, it usually isn't as big as an overhaul as the Browns uniforms that I'm showing or as big as a return to the classic look as the Browns uniforms that I'm showing. So prepare yourself for something a little bit more of a muted version of the new vert jerseys. Um, and this would be what I'm showing right here. Um, you know, this is the white version. This is the only one I did. Yeah, but this has a white face mask. Um, I think that goes best with this uniform combo. But also, you know, it has the same three-stripe um, setting that the Browns' current jersey has, um, but it just doesn't extend all the way to – the chest and the neck like the new jerseys do um i did keep the cleveland on there because it just fills the space there because it just have a lot of space there with the six and you can't really move the six up um and i added a full outline around the six as well as the orange pants um which would be more traditional orange pants not with like browns written on the side and you know while this isn't the jersey that i would really like which is essentially a recolored dolphins throwback jersey um but not really because even that jersey as a dolphins throwback jersey is just a classic football jersey and i think if any team should have the classic football jersey it's the cleveland browns um with a little bit of a panaz around it with some of the outlining which would be new for the franchise um or at least something that hasn't been seen um in the last 20 years for the cleveland browns so i think that would be a very good idea i hope they keep the outlining i hope that's an idea that is stuck with with the browns i don't want them to go back to just single color letters i think the outlining does help and make the jersey look a lot cooler and a lot more wearable just among regular fans and among players um but yeah I'm, I'm fully prepared for this more muted version of it if they did this and revealed this i would honestly be fine with it i wouldn't be thrilled but i'd be fine with it because this is a fine looking jersey i think the problem with the browns uniform when they did what they did to it it was just too much it was trying to do too many things at once. If you simplify that look and turn it down a few notches, you actually have a solid uniform there. But it's just they tried to do so much with it at one time um, that it just looked like a joke of a uniform. So, you know, these are the things that I'm suggesting. Gray face mask or white face mask. Um, honestly, I think getting away from the brown face mask would probably be good um, just because it's going to just signify in your head mentally a different era. But that's why I think the Browns uniform should change to um, what I hope they change to and what I think they will look like based on all of the clues that I have gotten from the interviews and tweets that surround this situation. But that's just my thoughts on it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Do you think this is what the Browns new uniforms are going to look like or do you have your own ideals? Let me know in the comment section below. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload. Um, but again, thank you guys for having me. Have a great day. Have a good night.